Thank you very much. So everyone can hear me okay? I'm a little short on voice today, so. <clears throat> well, it is my privilege uh, to give you just a little bit about workshop six, our high school workshop. Uh, but I just want to give you first just a little bit about mediated learning. So really, I get asked all the time, what is it? And uh, as uh, Mr. Noster said, um, it's really helping the learner to recognize their own thinking processes that go into problem solving. So we've got sort of all these specialized areas in our brain, cognitive functions that take care of all kinds of different types of thinking. The old message was that you were sort of stuck with what you got handed, sort of that intelligent quotient, IQ. But we now know through imaging and neuroscience that the brain is very changeable that if you're weak in a cognitive area, you don't have to stay there, you can enhance it just like you would exercise a muscle. So really what the learner's encouraged to do is to challenge, be challenged to consider more efficient ways to arrive at a solution. And a mediator is someone who helps them, mainly through questions, so that they can become more aware of the rules, the structures, sort of the underlying effective problem-solving capacity that we all have. So workshop six is being offered directly, though, to the young person, to the high school-aged person. Uh, for this workshop, it's a standalone workshop. You don't have to have come to any other workshop training because we sort of give you a little bit of the nuts and bolts of mediated learning in that workshop. And the parent, uh, the, the primary guide in, in our young people's lives, comes along as well and certainly gleans all that wonderful information, but the workshop is really directed to the young people. I see some who've already been. Who's, how many of you have been to workshop six? It's a few, yeah, it's great. Um, <clears throat> so besides sort of uh, beginning concepts of mediated learning, we also sort of focus on four areas. Um, how to become motivated and keep it. How to stay focused. How to set goals and achieve them. And how to develop successful habits with a good attitude. So what do we send you home with? A little bit about mediated learning in those four areas critical thinking skills, problem solving, asking yourself process questions, and really becoming a self-mediator. So typically we think of another person mediating us. Well, we can self-mediate by asking ourselves good questions. I'll also, I'm going to teach at that workshop some solid study methods that really work. So this is a preparation for any young person, whether they're in the middle of high school and they want to use those skills, mediate themselves during the high school years, but it's an excellent preparation for whatever might come after those high school years. So whether you're heading for university or college, the trades, being an entrepreneur, a homemaker, a business person, whatever that might be, this is going to be a good preparation for life. So they're being offered these workshops in cycles around the province. Um, I'm happy to give you more information today and you'll notice on the main wisdom table there's an actual information booklet on mediated learning. You're very welcome to pick that up as well. And I'm open for your questions. This was sort of a little bit of an advertisement. I should have come up with sort of a jingle or something to sing. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, napping is part of the workshop. Not in the workshop. But, uh, <laughs> well, but, but that sleep loss is mind loss. So yeah. somebody else was asking a question. I didn't. They aren't online. Uh, I give them in person. A uh, good question on the cost. So these workshops uh, are about $240 per parent and uh, young person to come. 
but we have um, a grant and we are able to subsidize that down to $40 per wisdom family. Uh, Non-wisdom, unfortunately, um, don't have access to that, those grant monies, but so it would be $40 um, for each workshop. Yeah, you know, um, these workshops are nice if they're kept fairly intimate. And now, you know, intimate is relative. I've, I've given it to a group as sort of large as 35 to 40 people. Typically, though, we have, you know, 10 or 15. With the high school workshop, those numbers can, can grow quickly because someone might bring three students. So even that, you know, it's usually under 50 people. And I'm willing to come to people's homes if they can accommodate um, people, or we sometimes give them in libraries or church halls. Um, very flexible. Really want it to work for families in, in areas. Yeah, right now I just have the one for high school, but you know, I encourage any high school student to come to any of the other workshops uh, with, uh, with a parent. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much for your attention. And, uh, you know, come join us.